Um, I became enchanted with paddlefish years ago when I first met uh, Dr. Mims. I have a food and wine background, so I was always interested in farming and uh, wanting to do something really fabulous in the Midwest, but we never knew what we wanted to work on. When we found paddlefish and realized that we could make world-class caviar in the Midwest, it was hugely exciting. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the drawbacks about the caviar process is it takes so long for the fish to um, reach maturity and start producing caviar. So I knew I wouldn't be able to build a hatchery for a million dollars and grow fish for 10 years before I ever you know, started receiving any income back. That's when I heard about uh, the idea of using empty tanks at wastewater treatment plants. And it's brilliant, actually. So I can come here, they have these tanks, they were sitting empty. Um, I can fill it with uh, water that goes through the UV treatment, so it's a much higher standard than they use for regular agriculture. It actually eats, meets uh, EPA standards. So I've got access to as much perfect water as I want. I have a tank that's already here. And then um, I'm a green project for the city that I work with. And there's also educational opportunities. You know, we have Boy Scout troops come through and I tell them what I'm doing or other universities come. And it's, it's just such a logical, practical way to raise fish in the United States. All right, so this is my paddlefish. This is sort of a little bit on the small side. Um, these fish were spawned in late May. They grow really fast. By the end of the year, they'll be about this big. And that's the perfect size for uh, reservoir ranching.